Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, back again with another war replay here. We're looking at a base not really that high level for Town Hall 9. Can still cause a couple problems. Uh, did a shattered Goho again uh, with a healer archer trick for the hound in the CC. And it works. And if you know there's a hound, you got to do it. You just have to. It allows your troops so much more work room, and I'll show you why. We're going to take a look at a failed Goho attempt, barely, and then why a Shattered will work overwhelmingly with the Healer attempt. So you take a look at this base, and you got to break it down. It's kind of spread out. You got Hero spread out. You got your CC mainly on the inside of defenses, but he has a couple flaws. So. Defense is inside the Ranger over here, but wait, there's a square cell. Could be a Tesla outside the range. Um, if you come over here, your defense is, or your hog is probably going to slip over here, which is great. That's outside the range. Otherwise, the only other spot is you got right here. You have a chance of your hog hitting. That might be a spring trap. Who knows how good they are at planning this stuff. But. I go over here to draw out that CC because I know it is a hound. Um, that's that's the deal. And then you got to count out your spots. Because of how this wall is set, you can still set a golem there. It's outside the seven area of cells of that. Set a golem here. Break your funnel. Blow up these walls. Easy access to the queen. Throw a jump over here. You're going to get your golems. And you take a look at the rest of the base. Where can his double spots be? Possibly there, there, there. Uh, that's about it. So, single spot, single spot, single spot. Those are the only spots you got to worry about a bomb. Bomb. Probably a Tesla, 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 Tesla. And then, if I'm assuming like normal, it could be a Tesla to create that ring. That's that's basically it. So if you get your troops inside here, you're probably doing away with those possible double bomb spots. So that's what you got to do. Get your troops in, kill off the CC, trick the hound way over here. But we'll show you a different Goho attempt and how not planning or taking care of that fact and using proper spell usage can go. So this is an earlier attack by a clan mate. Um, I believe this base had been hit before. So we know there's a hound in the CC. Just do the hound trick. Get it out of the way and you'll see how much further your troops go when I do the same attack. Now he brings in his golems um, on a side attack here and doesn't create a proper funnel. Which makes his whiz go to the side. The hound pulls, causes his troops a lot of hold up. The queen doesn't die quick. The hound doesn't die quick. And just causes some issues. And then he sets his troops in this outward pattern. Where I'm going to bring my troops in the other direction, my hogs. Which will allow me to heal around the king proper. Um, like I said, this, this is a damn close attack. But the witches on this for the hound doesn't do proper work. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Um, it was a great idea. Like I said, this guy is learning this attack. And it's pretty much a damn proper attack. Just gets a few areas of it mixed up. So it brings in the golems. Here's the issue. If you're creating a funnel... Brings in the golems from the same side, it's going to be at the closest defense. So if you brought a golem right here, right here, and then a golem right here, you're collecting that fire, and you can set a funnel, one wizard here, and a wizard out here. Create the same funnel, less troops, same fire, and then blow up this wall, and your troops are going to go indoor. That actually right there might have been the difference. Just separating those golems and creating that funnel might have been 100% the difference. So it blows up that wall. 
But you see what not creating the outdoor funnel with one troop and one troop? It's losing, going to lose two wizards over here. These wizards get caught up building this outdoor funnel are going to go in. So he only comes indoors with a few power troops. You want to bring most of your power wizards inside the game with you. Throws down a rage, and now he's only got two heals left. Could have been the difference make right there. Maybe you don't need that rage. You don't have enough power troops really on that hound. Your golems are taking a walk around. Your queen's way away from the game. Maybe you didn't need that rage because you needed to just funnel your troops in. Now after he realized he can't get to that hound properly, throws in his giant and hogs. That's good spacing, good spreading, good collecting of the point fire with hogs. But then he also, he d if you're going to space out your hogs, space, 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 that's only three sets. You're going to bring 30 hogs, you can probably create four or five sets. You're going to separate that defensive fire. Probably could have actually thrown a couple over here. So now both of the heels are down. Hogs are taking a lot of fire. Throws down that poison. Ah. Those pups fly through it without dying fully. Just it's kind of good idea. Um, a little bad on the execution. That's what you'll see. It falls a bit short. Just a bit short. 98%. But here's the difference from falling a bit short and crushing the base. So you can see. Now, I don't bring as many hogs, but I bring a healer, archers, to take that hound out of the equation. And then I separate my golems and use very few whiz to cut the funnel. And then I got my power going inside. So they're going to clean out that area. And as I know these troops are going to be firing in, I'm going to hog around the direction of the original fire troops. And this is all the difference it's going to take. I bring a hog to draw out that hound. What I didn't plan on, or I should have looked harder, is some skellies popped up. No big deal. I have a poison. I'm just going to burn them off so that the healer archer trick still builds. You can see I thought about it for a second. Oh, what do I do now? Okay, just poison them. Now they're away. I can set up my two archers and my healer. CC troops out of the game. Simple as that. Healer, archer, hound, game over. I only use two wizards on each side. Cuts the funnel perfectly. I don't have to worry about much more. I clean out that interior funnel where they're going to walk anyways. And now let's check it out. I lost one wizard on the left. No wizards on the right because they're actually walking in. So I still have all my power wizards coming in. I have four wizards as backup, so I throw two extras of them in. My golems are still full health. My king takes care of business on that weak queen. I throw that jump in just for my troops to go inside if they want. Collect some of that Tesla fire, and then I start hogging on the defenses that are firing. Throw that first heal spell on the giant pack. My troops are going inside like I was hoping. Then I start hogging around. The key is when your hogs come into defensive fire and the next defense starts firing, throw more hogs in. And then when these defenses turn, throw more hogs in. So just kind of wait a second. 
Throw that heal down. Those defenses are firing. In comes my last group of hogs. Because they're not going to collect fire. They're just going to chop away from behind. And I still got that third heal. My golems are still full health. I throw in my cleanup wizards. My hogs are still under full health and getting healed. When they clean up those last troops. I still got a queen alive. That hound is still being spammed in the corner. And my entire pack of hogs are alive. And that's the difference. That's the difference right there. Creating that funnel. Getting your troops inside. If you know there's a hound in the CC. Just spam it to the side. Get it out of there. You will find a much easier battle ahead of you. Hope that makes sense. You don't need to bring witches if you don't need them. It's not about bringing more hogs. Because I brought five less hogs. But I used it for the healer and archers. Because I got rid of the CC. That way my troops can go in. They don't have to fight anything. They just have to take down defense. Hope that makes sense. Hope you guys like it. Appreciate it. See you guys next time.